What is up guys? Before we get into the builds, I just want to say welcome if you're new here. Welcome to the video. If you're not new here, high five. Welcome back to the channel. You are a giga chad. The builds in this video are not going to be in any particular order of importance. They're just going to be level 1 traders first off with whatever ammo is associated with them and the pen values. And then level 2 traders and the exact same stuff. With that being said, a lot of the things have been switched around since previous wipes. Weapons have been buffed and moved to different trader levels, so there's actually some decent stuff that you can build at level 1 and 2 traders, so I think it'll surprise a lot of people in this video, so let's get into it. The first build for level 1 traders is actually the Pump Action Mossberg Shotgun. All of these parts are available from level 1 traders. The stats are in the top right, and at the end of the build I'll show you the price right here in the bottom. I'll hover over it with my mouse there. And the ammo that you're going to want to be using in this gun is Express Buckshot. The next build from Level 1 Traders is going to be this SKS build. It's a little bit iffy because you can't get uh, PS rounds from Level 1 Traders, but they are super common on any scab that has an SKS. Always take the PS rounds because you can't actually get them to Level 2 proper now. The next build is going to be the Double Barrel Shotgun from Jaeger Level 1. You can buy two of these and hot swap between them to skip the reload animations. You'll also want to be using Express Buckshot for these. I use these sometimes late wipe with flechette, they're pretty effective. Next is the tried and true Mosin. This bullet is really cheap, hits like a freight train, plus you need to use bolt action to level the bolt action skill if you want to do any like advanced questing later on. The next gun is the Keter, any version of the Keter works. You can buy the PSV round from Jaeger 1, it's the second best for flesh damage. You can shred toes at any level with this thing. Next gun is the Crink or the Baby AK. Both this gun and the PS round have been buffed this wipe as of patch 13. They are both very, very effective early game weapons now, so definitely don't sleep on this one. Next build is the Two World War Champion 1911. The only issue with this build is you can't really see over the suppressor with the default irons very good, and you can't change them until higher level traders. That and the rather small magazine capacity of only 11 plus 1 in the chamber. And you'll want to be using FMJ ammo. Next build is the P226. It looks pretty sick. Only issue is you can't get PST, which is your bread and butter for 9 mil early game until level 2 traders. You can only get PSO, but PSD is pretty common on scavs, so just collect it. The next build is the 209. This is one of the only guns that you can get a suppressor for at level 1 traders. And since you can't get PS from level 1, EKO actually has higher pens, so this might actually be worth using until level 2. Next build is the Vepper KM. By the way, with any of these builds, if you want to use them, pause it when I have it on the uh, the attachment screen, and then you can just copy it. You can't get uh, PS rounds to level 2, so once again, you're stuck with HP. Next and last build for level 1 traders is the PPSH with the 74 round drum mag. You can get both the best in slot ammo and the high capacity mag from level 1 traders, so it might be a good option for those first couple days of wipe. The first build from level 2 traders is the UMP. Everyone knows about the UMP, everyone uses the UMP. I hate it. Use FMJ ammo, it'll work. Next build is one of my favorites. You can build the MP5 SD from Peacekeeper 2, or after completing scrap metal, you can just buy it outright, and you have PST unlocked, so this will be a big game changer gun. This next build is still the Vepper KM, but upgraded to level 2 parts. You can also swap this out for an AKM if you want full auto, but you can use PS rounds now, which are better than EKO, so the 209 is essentially useless now. Switch to the 762 version. Next gun is the upgraded version of the crank. It has the recoil pad, which I think is locked behind a gunsmith task, but it's a pretty easy one. And it's got the new muzzle device on it and the, the best dust cover, which is unlocked from Mechanic 2. It's a really good gun with PP rounds in it. You can kill people fast. The next build is the level 2 trader version of the SKS. If you have Jaeger 2 unlocked, you can get the adapter and you get a new stock from Peacekeeper. Works really, really good. This is probably one of my favorite early wipe guns. It hits like a train. Next gun is the SAG. You can buy the 2X from Jaeger 2 and you can buy the SAG from uh, Skier 2. So if you want some more long range engagements, this is probably not a bad gun to go to for like woods or whatever. You'll also be using the PP round in this one as well. 
At level 2 traders, you can get the sniper version of the Mosin and the PU scope, also a good option for long range bolt action gameplay, so definitely use this one if you're trying to level your bolty skill or doing the Tarkov shooter task line. The next build is the Ultima shotgun, you'll want to be using Express Buckshot for this gun as well. It's, it's just a semi-auto 12 gauge, so it's better than the pump actions, but until you have flechette, 12 gauges aren't going to be super great except for really early on. And the final build for level 2 traders, you should have the flea unlocked by level 2 by the way. That's the only thing you can't get from traders on this gun is the NT4 suppressor, but you should have the flea if you have level 2 traders. So G36, M855 rounds until you unlock the cult part 1, in which unlocks M856A1 from Peacekeeper level 2. This gun is great. Use this gun. It's People sleep on the G36. It's actually really good. One final note on ammo before we get into me testing the guns. At level 2 Peacekeeper, or not Peacekeeper, level 2 Mechanic, you also unlock Subsonic SX for the MP7. So if you find an MP7 in like a crate or something, like a, a barrel stash, you can use this ammo and it's really good. You can't get the 30 rounders until level 3 Mechanic though, so it's not that good. Where the fuck did that guy come from, bro? He was silent. Just completely no sound at all. That's a note for me. What are the odds they're silly enough to walk in underneath me? I got a pistol, why don't you come and get me? Mm, come on, big boy. <laughs> uh, I can't, I'm busy. Looting. Yes, sir. Smart one. Hey, you are. No, you going to be a friendly brother? Not really. It do be like that. Ooh, is that a KS? KS boys. Good night. We got him. I didn't use the Mossberg though, sorry, fellers. <laughs> I think there might be a naked guy over here. You get him, Timmy! You get him! You got him, Timmy! You did it! Congratulations! Why aren't you dead? How are you not dead, guy outside? The 
was an interesting raid. What a stupid fucking name, dude. Right in the corner where I left him. That guy was big. And then... Oh god, there's players up top. I'm scared. Oh my god, there's so many! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Oh, that's a Benelli, not a Mossberg. He lied to me. This is the guy I... No, this is not the guy that I killed. This is the guy I killed. Lieutenant Big Chungus. Is that a Zook? A Zook in a double barrel? Oh, the Zook has 16 HP. Oh, God. What the frack sticks is going on? Eureka! What does the duck say? True, true, true. You, you are you're a smart guy. How'd you know that? I don't know why he peeked so far out with that nade. Not a smart decision. Guys, if you have a nade, you don't need to peek with the nade. You can bounce it off walls. Ooh, nice gun. I'm burning through the sky. Three hundred degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I'm gonna make a supersonic man out of you. Hello, my friend. Oh, Beepus! Is that the real Beepus or the fake one? Yeah, this gun is this gun is unironically pretty good. Boys and man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. I let you understand. P90 and Darth Vader helmet. Nice. Welcome to AI in Tarkov. Level 34 with a Mosin and a pack on factory budget gun. I think it's just funny. Level 52 with a bolt action on factory.
surprise! Oh, he's got a he's got a little baby gun too. I'm coming for you, bitch. Yeah, you better come get me. I'm coming for you, bitch. I'm ready, Papa. Come get me! Are you here yet? Are you here yet? Give me a second, fucking bitch. You still alive, bitch? No, I'm dead. Bye bye. <laughs> These fucking guys, bro. These guys are goofing. These guys are goofing hard. <laughs> this guy was funny. I like this guy. Oh, yeah, this guy was way bigger. Oh, an SKS man. I'm a goner. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope it was informative in some way, shape, or form. I hope it prepared you for, for the wipe day and what weapons you're going to end up using. I would recommend probably the SKS and the Mosin would be your best bets for uh, level 1 traders. Maybe the Vepr KM or the 209. Any of them will be good but you need to use bolt actions to level up skills if you're going for kappa so i'll be using a lot of the mosin and then level two traders the crink and the g36 are gonna be nuts dude the g36 is a new addition to i think level two peacekeeper i don't think you could ever get the short version before but you can now so abuse it because m855 is actually decent now if you learned anything from the video uh leave a like on it it really helps me out i appreciate it Try to grow the channel to 100 billion subscribers easily. First billionaire YouTuber in the world. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody.